Hey guys, welcome back with another video on our channel Learn with Quicks. In this video, I will discuss with you few more text functions that you should must prepare for the Power BI interviews that you will be attending. And I have already uploaded part 2 last week. So today's one is part 3. So please go and check out the part 1. Uh, the link I will provide in the description box. And then come to this video. So let's start. And if you are new to this channel, please like and subscribe to stay updated with all my videos. Okay. So uh, we will discuss today these three functions that I have listed here. First one is the count rows. Second one is the count and third one is the count X. So in many of the interviews, uh, this is a very common question. They will ask what is the difference between count rows and count and also difference between count and count X. So generally people uh, don't consider these type of questions to be asked, but this uh, these type of questions are asked. So you should be very clear what is the uh, minor difference between all these three because they are quite similar to each other. Okay, so let's start with the first one uh, count rows function. Okay, and let's uh, let's first see the what is the Microsoft document says for this function. So count rows function. So count rows function counts the number of rows in the specified table or in a table defined by an expression. Okay, so it will it will count the total number of rows present in a particular table or a expression that represents a table. What is its syntax? So it will take a uh, one argument, which is a table. Okay. Now let's see how it can be implemented in our Power BI model practically. Before that, let, let me give you the overview of the model that we are using. I have already given in the last uh, videos. So this is uh, our model where we have three tables. One we have a customer table, other we have a product table, and the last we have a sales table. So customer and product table are the dimension tables and sales is a fact table customer is connected to sales table with customer id through one to many relationship and product is connected to sales fact table using product underscore id through one to many relationship so this is our uh, model okay now let's see how count rows function can be implemented so what i will do i will count the total number of rows present in this sales fact table okay so i will create a measure for it okay so Let's try to make it. So using calculate, uh, sorry, using count rows. Okay, so using count rows, I will represent it with CR. Okay, so count rows. Then I will give the name of the table as sales because we will be counting the number of rows in sales fact table. Okay. Now let's see what is its value. Okay, the measure is created. Now let's see what does the value show. So we have 270k using count rows. So the total number of rows that are there in sales fact table is 270,000. Okay, now let's create a measure for count function. Okay, so this was our second function count. So let's see. Let's see how count function is different from count rows function. Before that, let me take you to the Microsoft document for count function. So the count function counts the number of cells in a column that contain non blank values. So you should focus on this part non blank values. So this is the major difference. So count function only count the values which are which are non blank. Okay, it will ignore all the null values and it will show only the count of the records where the values are present and this is the major difference between count rows and count function and people generally don't know about it okay now let's see how we can see it practically in our power bi model so i will create a measure for it and before that let me show you the sales fact table so this is our sales fact table okay and here as you can see we have a column called transaction date and as you can see here we have a quite a, a few nulls here let me show you see we have a quite a few blank here right so we will consider this column okay while creating the count function function measure so let's create a new measure uh, using count function so i will name it at using uh, c c for count okay now let me type it count function here and i will uh, use uh, the transaction date column that i showed to you in the sales fact table so this is the column that we will be using presenter now let's see what does it value show and as i already showed you it contains 
blank or null values okay so let's see what does the value show for count function measure okay so this is the total value it is showing 113 thousand okay so overall the sales fact table the total number of records are 270k but using count function we got to know that there are a few nulls also uh, where uh, we have considered transaction date column and we got to know the, that 113,000 uh, records are there we have seen the difference between count rows and count right and now i hope it is clear completely to you how you can differentiate this in front of the interviewer okay now let's move to count x function that that was our third function count x okay let's see the microsoft document for this so what does it say it counts the number of rows rows that contain a non blank value here also it will uh, count the non blank values or an expression that evaluates to a non blank value when evaluating an expression over a table and what does it syntax is uh, count x the table name and the expression that you want to count for okay now let's see how does we implement it practically okay let me create a measure here so this time we will calculate using count x using count x okay so count x function we will use it here directly the first will be the sales table because we will be calculating the expression using uh, uh, that is already present in sales fact table so uh, sales table this is our sales table now second is the expression like uh, for which expression you want to count the number of rec uh, records so the expression that will utilize is total quantity so total quantity that we have already created in our last video so go and check out those uh, those videos first and then come to this video that, that's why i requested you in the starting only that go through the uh, first two videos and then come to this video so we will utilize this total quantity uh, measure that we have already created and that will act as an expression here okay let me close the bracket here and press enter okay so let me see uh, what does the value show for count x so as you can see here it is showing as 270k so why it is showing like this why it is showing 270k because the total quantity measure that we created what was it it is sum of the sales quantity okay and let me show you the data table here so uh, this is the sales table and we have a quantity column here so as you can see here the none of the records are blank and as a result uh, it has counted all the number of rows from sales fact table and that's why it is showing the same value as count rows function 270k okay so this is how you can differentiate between count rows count and count x function and I hope you are clear with the syntax also and what you have to use and when you have to use. Okay. I hope you understood all the three functions clearly. And if you will be asked difference between either of the three, then you will be able to tell this in front of the interviewer from now on. Okay. So I hope you like the content. And if you are, if you like it, please share it with your friends too.